This video goes under June 6, 2023. It's already June 7, 2023 today, morning, early morning hours. But I'm going to do this video anyways. Uh, it's a very, very crucial evidence. It's going to go under evidence. Uh, yet another MKO evidence fact. My identifying a gentleman, uh, since I have spoken about a nurse Yanko so much at Home for Elderly People. Uh, I got an idea I would post an audio recording about somebody who knew Nurse Yanko. Um, well, actually, even before 2000, but let me go to this issue here. So, we're right here at the uh, city of the Nova Mesta. Here, did you see this here? There we go, we go here. So, this audio recording took place at Home for Elderly People. In a little bit, I am going to zoom into this thing here. But I want to accent because I, you know, it could be that somebody would actually maybe even think that this is, uh, well, this is what they're still doing to me, a product of my imagination. But actually, it's not. A nurse, Yanko. I have been talking about all along. Wow. Hey, hey, man! Every post they are doing this stuff to me. I have to do what you see here so I can access my own blog. Nurse Yanko, I probably have mentioned one like on a million occasions. Oh man, this guy was involved in this case since very, very long ago, since 95. Um, and uh, this gentleman, whom I have identified, I have identified him, so for me to say that Nobody's going to have a doubt about the stuff I'm writing about. Okay. Anyhow, uh, if it's not going to be here, there's got to be God knows just how many posts I have posted about the nurse Yanko. Okay, too many, way too many in respect to home for elderly people where my father is located, too many. This nurse Yanko is a very, very crucial individual because most of the crime literally have gone through his hands. Talking about the politicians, Borut Pahor, Milan Kuchan, talking about top politicians, not only these people, but talking about also other politicians. Uh, all the politicians inside of the Slovenian parliament, Novo Mesto Police, Psychiatrist Ljubljana Polje, Psychiatric Hospital Ljubljana Polje. Very, very, very crucial individual who have seen, I could say, who have seen it all and have participated heavily in it. Okay, so if I go to an audio recording, I'm going to use to demonstrate you um, and what is this? Oh, it doesn't matter. 
This is the audio recording right here. That's an excerpt I have copied pasted into kind of the window. So I'm just demonstrating you. It's a pretty damn long, seven hours, eight hours, 20 minutes long recording. And what I did was I extracted one into what you see here. Uh, and but I, hopefully I'm going to be able to play one. So for me to see. Just to make sure about it. I'm going to open this one here because this is already extracted. And I have no idea what that is. So why just not open one more and make sure that this is what it is. So this stuff that you're about to witness right now. Hey, it did again the same thing. This stuff was audio recorded at home for elderly people in the city of the Novo Mesto. And that's about this location right here. Where I was uh, delivered from United States of America beginning 1995. But I can tell you that this is the, the longest institution involved in it, government institution, because they already delivered me here. They already started to deliver. Milan Kuchan was the one who started to deliver me here already in as early as in 1993. 1994, 1995, I took off to the United States of America, basically at the end of the 1994. So... Mr. Milan Kuchan, Mr. Darnoshek, Mr. Bort Pahor, the henchmen, the Udba henchmen, henchmen representing the Belgrade have faced indefinite failure, literally through the Moscow negotiations, where also I have participated for Slovenia to obtain the first independence in the history. Uh, in 1991 and this Belgrade people they just wanted to destroy me together with the Moscow and with the Belgrade at all the costs and so this facility here right next door this is a home for people with the special needs and uh, they were trying to make to seal my fate in as early as in 1993 with what you see here. If not this, then it would have been definitely this one here. They, they started to look for institutions to get rid of me. Either this here for home for elderly people where my father is or for handicapped people with special needs. Uh, this Udba people, they wanted to kill me. Moscow gave an order to get rid of me. But I took off to the U.S. in 95, at the end of the 1994, as I explained, just about for the new year of 1995. And uh, let's go to somebody so that I can demonstrate to you just how much I know about Nurse Yanko when it comes to his whereabouts in this environment and even environment prior to this one. Um, the politicians involved him in stuff uh, and he had to participate whether he liked it or not. I am actually quite shocked in respect to a lot of issues because I still don't know a lot of answers to it. The people had to do stupidities so they could get their jobs, promotions, indeed, answer is yes. Yeah, you understand me what I said? The answer is yes. So, extorted into real stupidities that could also commit real stupidities if the politicians would require from them to do stupidities. Uh, these are very dangerous people extremely dangerous people. They look like 
laid back, relaxed people. But you know, looks are deceiving. They're not. You can trust me on it. The man I am going to play to you the audio uh, is what is specific about this nurse, about this nurse Yanko is, you know, what's specific about this nurse Yanko? Specific about the nurse Yanko is that he is a dental nurse. You understand me what I'm saying? He is not by profession as educated uh, originally, he didn't get like general nursing, nurse, you know, like a registered nurse uh, to work in environment where uh, a physical therapy, um, I should say physical therapy, excuse me, uh, close attention to uh, general health is required. No, he's not. But the profession Nurse Yanko is a dentist. Dental nurse, excuse me. Dental nurse. Okay, so that there is, uh, sorry, this is, this is, obviously I need a dental nurse right now. I have a problem with my tooth, uh, but not Yanko. And you're not going to get that opportunity right now. Um, what's the difference between dentist and dental nurse? Oh, come on. I thought it's going to be something else. A dentist, obviously, is a physician. Uh, so a dental nurse, that will be assisted. But uh, when it comes to Yanko, for the difference of this individual, there is actually a difference between the two. I'm going to tell you this at the end. Uh, however, it's highly, highly, highly unusual for uh, a dental nurse to work in a part in the department for a close supervision of the patients that suffer from uh, cardi cardiovascular stroke. Um, you know, re requiring like general but high, at, uh, high attention in respect to health. This is just not happening because it's like totally different branch. And so what I did with this audio recording I'm about to play to you right now, I did manage to point out for the gentleman uh, the year when he obtained uh, uh, the employment uh, and uh, the type of profession he really had, which is, as I stated, is very, very irregular, very unusual. Uh, and um, those are the things that actually, without, and even more so, I'm going to tell you, there is a man that very much looks like him. It's just that that man is younger. But this guy had a short haircut, and he also looked young, you know. Uh, you know, it would be people like police officers and stuff that will not be drugged up and they would mistake in the two. There was people involved in MK Ultra, they had a problem with the shit. I haven't met that guy yet. In a way, it was a setup. But I passed one with the flying colors and nobody's going to be able to prove me that the stuff I'm writing is a fiction. Here is another audio recording as a proof, as an MK Ultra proof. Uh, this is for the police investigator, for the police. Uh, yeah, this shit pertains more to the police than the human rights organizations. Um, unless you want to, as a human rights representative, if you want to drench them a little bit under the armpits uh, to wake up and uh, maybe perform their work. Uh, so let's go to the audio recording and I'm going to play you one and then translate here, then I'm going to play the whole audio recording right below because this is really precious to me. I'm going to post you extracted also 
audio recording. Yeah. So this stuff I'm writing about in my blog, I must warn you, none of it is a fiction. Everything is a fact. It's more factual, <laughs> more factual even than audio and video recordings if they had them. That's how factual it is. None of which ever surfaced to public, but this stuff is so factual that the audio and video recordings which Central Intelligence Agency and other agencies out there, intelligence agencies, have obtained. Everybody has this stuff I'm talking about. People just didn't believe that something like this could have been possible. We'll confirm for everything stated on my website as a fact. And that probably should be a little bit scary to a lot of people. Let's go to the audio recording. Um, the ladies entered the room, a nurses, and um, I was about to take my father to uh, to cafeteria. You know, I was trying to lift him up. I was giving him an exercise. Uh, I played him some movie, and uh, yeah, I was trying to lift him and uh, get him out of the bed a little bit to 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 stretch himself because. It's, it's, it's a very bad situation, really. Uh, the roommate Kuletic, Mr. Kuletic, is getting his 30 minutes of physical therapy. My father is getting none, really. He's getting no physical therapy. It's like a plant. Uh, very, very, very bad. Uh, uh, let's, let's just go on. I'm going to play the audio recording. So the ladies entered the room and uh, they are about to change diapers to a father and they ask me to leave the room, which I of course do, I thank them. And I am now waiting on a hallway. Uh, I'm now waiting on a hallway. Yeah, that's my dad. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm waiting on a hallway, they're changing diapers to my father, uh, and I see this man, very familiar, I say hi to him, but, you know, I don't see him very well, age-wise, his hair is very short, he looks very dynamic, he's actually looking young, uh, I'm looking at him, and I know there is another guy. I know there are two guys like this. And uh, both used to work in this department too. And I just haven't seen the other one so that I could match with this one. And so on and so forth. And so now you're talking about the calculations. A lot of calculations and all kinds of stuff in my head going through. I say hi to him, this and that. He says hi to me. Uh, and it's really like they told me during MK Ultra it's going to be, it's going to be seconds that are going to be deciding about everything. All right, so we match.
So I'm in a hallway. They're 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 doing their stuff inside of the room where father is. Uh, they're changing him at diapers, and I'm waiting. And I also see other people, just like this nurse, doing his job, doing their jobs and stuff. They just rush through one room to another. So I say hello to you, no? to the gentleman, to this nurse. Uh, I said to him, I see that you're still working on this department. And I say this because I've never seen one before. She says, I'm surprised. I said, I see that you're still working in this department. And he said, yep, I'm actually working throughout entire hospital. And I say, oh, I say, oh, I, I see, I see. Uh, and I said to him, but I said to him, yeah, that's right. But I said, but it used to be that you used to work in this department here. This is department for a close uh, supervision of patients that suffer serious uh, health issues, such as stroke, uh, cardiovascular arrest, that kind of stuff. Uh, and so uh, he says, yeah, 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 I did. Hi, 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 hello, hi. So I'm testing the water. I tested the water to see how cooperative uh, a gentleman is going to be, if he's going to cooperate, if he's going to give me answers or something or other attitude. There are people that give attitude, and when I get attitude and stuff like this, I just turn around and I walk away. Basically, I don't want to meddle into it because I have too much material to prove the case. There are God knows how many people I have not posted online, but pretty much I identify everybody inside of this facility. Uh... So you can imagine there is a significant collection of proofs I have at hand. Uh, but what, whenever something really matters, I'm going to take time and post this online. Like, let's say just this, exactly this audio recording, the proofs, stuff I'm talking about in respect to father. And also myself. This was a facility that there was more torture done in it. Even then in a psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana, Polje where they hospitalized me in 2013 based on lies against me. You're witnessing basically 30 years of MK Ultra case. 30 years, 33 years now. Of this 30 years, 25% count I was subjected at least minimum to MK Ultra practice 24/7 therefore. I I say to him, you know, you look you look young, you know. Uh, I tell to this male nurse, I said, you look young, but you are a competition to Yanko, no? To the nurse Yanko. I said to him, uh, you, I said, you're here since 2000, aren't you? Since year 2000, aren't you? So I go back 23 years to point out the year 2000. Actually, he says, I am since 2001. Okay, so I missed for one year. Let me explain something between 1995 and between August of 2006 
I've never ever exited United States of America. And I, yet yeah, I was all over the world. Do you understand what I stated? For 11 and a half consecutive years, I would never exit the United States of America. Yet I was all over the world. Uh, to this statement of mine, I'm going to add a little paragraph. Twice I did exit it to visit relatives of my ex-wife in Ecuador, in South America, in Quito. None other city than Quito in South America. Well, I, I spent, of the 30 years I was subjected to MKUltra, I spent about seven, eight years, probably eight years, drugged up, subjected to MKUltra procedures, drug, drugged up 24-7. There is no city in the United States of America I would not roam through, drugged up. Uh, nor it is in Slovenia. <laughs> and uh, I'm not going to say, like, when it comes to the major cities and stuff like this around the globe, probably every damn city. It's scary on how many locations I was hijacked to as jumped up. Uh, the number of people involved in it, I question now actually, or rather maybe it's close, maybe you're going to say I'm really crazy, right? But, you know, I, I'm not sure about anymore how many people was involved in this stuff. I'm just going to tell you awfully, awfully a lot of people. So I pointed out the year uh, of his employment, when he got employment, I was not in Europe. Uh, I was in the United States of America. I was afraid to come to Europe. I wouldn't come anywhere even close to Europe. And I was hijacked back home all the time by the Central Intelligence Agency, for which Federal Bureau investigations have covered up. Uh, at a special request of the White House and the U.S. Congress. Because every American congressman was involved in it. Senator, uh, because even the people prior to my departure uh, from Slovenia to the United States of America, uh, people such as Ronald Reagan, um, Richard Nixon, were involved in MKUltra uh, through even what were negotiations in Moscow where I was hijacked beginning 1989. Uh, you cannot possibly imagine what kind of collection uh, I started to build in my head about this underworld that is totally unknown to people, to public. So I pointed out the year when he got his employment, uh, obviously that he was in this apartment, that he worked also in this department, or through he worked throughout the entire hospital. And I said, you're a competition. See, I told you, I told you, I say to, to, to the nurse, I say, I told you, see, I told you, you are a competition to Yanko, to the nurse Yanko. And he says, yes, I am. I said, uh, well, exactly what I mean, I say to him, I continue. I continue. I want to be very specific about it. Uh, and I said, well, what exactly what I mean is that Yanko had a very, very exclusive education for a dental technician, for a dental nurse. Um, dental, I said, in a practice of dentists.
Um, he said to me that uh, that is correct. Yanko is a dental technician. This is something a Yanko alone already have stated me. I will not. Nurse Yanko have stated me this. I'm not taking credit for it. But I want to get the replica from him. Because I stated that he was a competition to Yanko also, not only due to lengthivity of the time. Uh, you know, I pointed out 2000. Uh, and he said 2001. Since 2001, that's like 23 years ago. I pointed out with a year, exact date. And, uh, uh, but I am into the profession of dental. <laughs> because you know why? Because nobody in this facility, this is a necessary pre-qualification. If you want to pre if you you have to pre-qualify yourself, you have to take additional exams. In other words, for you to resettle from a dental uh, branch discipline into uh, to be a nurse in a general, um, you know hospital uh, in, in, in department, especially in the department of close supervision like this one, like concerning general health, uh, that actually you have to be very, very highly qualified to uh, work there. So these are probably the two only guys here in this facility so far. It comes to me, to my mind. And so that's the stuff I wanted to get. Uh, what he's going to say about this stuff. Greva? Greva, man. Who is okay? Okay, I have not translated well to you. He stated, in other words, earlier, because I didn't hear well, I'm going to play again, that that is correct. The two of us are a dental, uh, dental nurses. Uh, so I have also pointed out that his profession, original profession, also was as a dental nurse. Sorry. Uh, I did amplify the stuff and so on and so forth, and so I didn't pick the signal very well. I'm going to play you this again and uh, repeat this stuff. So, all right, so this is very, very exclusive. There is nobody that possibly you can doubt me about something like this, about the knowledge. The first time I see this man in this medical facility, in this home for elderly people, it's quite big-ass building. This is not a small place, this place. This is not like some kind of a small thing. I mean, this is actually quite giant, you know. This is not a joke. This is a big ass facility. This is big. This is not small, this place here. All right, so no way. You possibly can doubt me that I would know my stuff. So I'm going to play you this stuff again, try to catch this. So we blunt well, then, but we still be a concurrence of Yanko, right? We still have a record. 2000, Yeah, 2000. Or 2000. Yeah. Bro, we still be a concurrence of Yanko. Concurrence, no. Okay, uh, Janko is a dental technician just like myself by profession. Janko is a dental technician just like myself. Case is proven, uh, and this is. Quite, 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 I'm going to say a rock and roll, no less. Uh, here, this is again. Here, I'm going to amplify this to you. We're going to amplify this a little bit more like this to see if I can get something more out of it. Yeah, 
Janko je zdravstveni tehnik, tako kot jest. Janko je a dental technician, just like myself. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, the only thing left here for me to do is basically to play you one more time the whole audio recording, as I stated. But this is what you will find right below. You're going to find this. It's going to be exclusively. I'm going to place this into uh, a clip. So that is going to be just as a proof, just exactly what you see right there. But to make things easy for you, and if you want to download, uh, I'm just going to play this over for you. Uh, not as always, but thanks for watching this video. You see, the stuff I am talking about, uh, it's not a paranoia. It's not an illusion. It's facts. Čakaj malo, ti bom jaz nekaj zaplod, da ovo je čakaj. Dan, dobro dan. Do večera. Pa mi je bitno, mi je bitno, da te je dvar, moramo predničko zamenati. Predničko me treba? Ja, ja. Pa sem pa jaz nekaj biti. Ja, kuba ni mogo za minutko, dve boste šli iz sobe. Samo to. Hvala vam. Bolj, da gledam košnika, Še vedno delate tukaj na tem modelku? Ja. Ja. Bo skoro za drugo potos, no, po celi piči. A, po celi? Ja. Aha. A pa včasih ste delali tla velik, ne? Ne, tudi. Ja. Živjo. Za gospoda? Ja.
Tu ai fi blăs verde, te-am făcut. Vezi să-mi iau concurența, eu am făcut-o, nu? Vezi să-mi iau deja e caiul. 2000, cât am găsit? Jā, 2000 eina. 2000 eina? Jā, jā. Bravo, visi bija konkurencija jaunkot. Konkurencija, nu. Nesam tako. Jā. Janko, Janko je imel eno tako ekskluzivno mesto. Bez obo tehniki, ne? Z obo zdravstvu, ne? Jā, Janko je zdravstvu tehnika. Jā. Greva? Greva, mă, cui tu că e? All right, thanks for watching. This video is also to be used as an additional MKO truck book. Day and time, when this was video recorded. Audio recorded, however, as I stated, it was yesterday on June 6, 2023.